Hey there, I'm David and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to show you how to make what I think is the simplest DIY holiday gift idea ever. It's a single tea light candle holder with matchbook included. And I'm actually not going to show you how to make just one. I'm going to show you how to make 40 all at once out of a single 2x4. Let's get started. I first saw this candle holder design in a video by DIY Montreal, which I'll link to down below. She showed how to make just one, but in this video, I'll share my strategy to make a ton of these things all at once with as few cuts as possible. To start, you're going to need some tea light candles and some boxes of matches, both of which you can buy in bulk off of Amazon for only a couple of bucks. Oh, and you're going to need a single 8 foot 2x4 if you want to make 40 of these. This 2x4 is left over from a home improvement project I've been doing lately, so I had to remove some metal staples first. I started by cutting the 2x4 in half only because I find it easier to work with shorter boards. I've knocked over many a tripod swinging around full 2x4s in my small shop. Next, I milled the 2x4s to get them nice and square. This is an optional step that you can skip if you don't have a jointer and a planer. Just make sure that you brand your candle holders as rustic when you're done. Next is laying out where the matchbox and candle should go. There are two important points here. The first is that the candle should be recessed low enough into the board to stay in place, but not too far down that you can't easily pull it back out to replace the candle once it's all used up. The second point is that the matchbox should be low enough that there's still some space between it and the bottom of the candle. Next is cutting a long groove in the side of the 2x4. Set the depth of your table saw to roughly the depth of the matchbox. I chose to make the cut a little shallow so the striking surface of the matchbox sticks out slightly from the edge of the block. I cut the groove with multiple passes on my table saw, moving the fence over slightly between each pass. I recommend using a feather board to help stabilize the 2x4 if you have one here, and use push blocks if you aren't comfortable using your hands. Make sure to keep your hands on the top and the side of the board, and don't push from the back where the blade will exit the board as you finish the cut. Check the width of the groove between each pass and sneak up on the exact width of the matchbox. It should fit snug enough so that it won't fall out on its own, but not so snug that you have to jam it in to get it to fit. Next is slicing the 2x4 into 40 pieces, each the width of a matchbox. I started by using my crosscut sled with a stop lock on my table saw, but then my saw died unexpectedly halfway through. I'm still figuring out what went wrong there. Anyway, I switched to my miter saw, which worked just as well. Next, I used a 1.5 inch Forstner bit to cut out the recess for the candle, setting the drill press depth stop to prevent drilling too deep. If you don't have a drill press and are using a hand drill, you can mark the edge of the Forstner bit with some painter's tape to tell you when to stop. If you're like me and you don't have a nice drill press table, it's worth it to clamp down some scraps as a temporary fence so you don't have to painstakingly align each piece. I tried to clamp down a shop vac hose to help with dust collection, but it didn't really do too much. I used a belt sander to very lightly round over all the outside edges of each block, but you could easily do this by hand with some 80 grit sandpaper. I'm just now noticing how much my belt sander drips across the table as I work. I should probably bolt that down. Anyway, after applying my brand to each block, I decided to finish these pieces by dunking them in some clear Danish oil and hanging them up to dry. These aren't built to last forever, but the oil will provide at least some protection. And just like that, you've made enough stocking stuffers for your entire extended family. Thanks for watching.